Good day everyone, welcome back to the Ojabi Design Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a signature logo, either as a watermark for your photo, for your picture, any kind of picture, or for a photographer using PCL. I will just show you a simple steps without any obstruction, without any difficulties, how you can create a signature logo on Android. Let's start. The first thing you will do now is to determine the kind of font that you are going to use. Having determined the kind of font, you are going to know the kind of a color you are going to use. Then you match your color together whether you want to use a kind of an object as a what as a, 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 a means of identification for your brand uh, 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 for your brand as well. Let's just start. And stay tuned. The first thing I will do now is to do my write up. Sorry, let me use my own brand name, Deco. Mm -hmm. Then, having done the Deco, sorry, mm -hmm. all right, Deco. Now, good. Then, I will look for the font I wanted to use and have Amsterdam. In my mind let me use and smart off I've select the type of font you can download the font at the description of this video good select is the size I want to use the YouTube banner size for you to be able to see clearly so you stretch it out very well good so the next thing I'm going to do is to, is to import, I want to import the camera frame, the camera frame, we need to import the camera frame, the telegram, I want to, I'm looking for the camera frame, yeah, it's not really far. I've seen it. Then after seeing the camera frame, good. You click OK. Then you can see that the camera frame is having background. Then I'm going to use the erase the background using eraser. Sorry. Using erase color. Erase color. Now you can see that uh, it was the white area that was removed. Then I will click on the icon here beside one using my color picker then pick I will, I, will, I, will, I will move it to where the black is because this is the black I want to remove then after I discover that the black has been picked then I will mark it as you can see that there is still a tiny particle there are some tiny particle black tiny particle here then you increase your tolerance to be 55 then your smooth to be 1 click OK then reduce the size and place it here reduce the size and position it here so increase it a little bit good so the next thing you will do now is to what is to type i want to complete my brand name deco graphics deco graphics deco graphics then i will now select the type of font i want i want to use inversion inversion font inversion there are two types of inversion we have the customized one and we have the one that is not customized the one that is not customized you see it without any word any customization but the one that is customized you see it inside the particular uh, uh, box each, each alphabet is inside a particular box being perforated, being cut out. So that is not the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the first one, which is inversion zone box. Then I will click OK. I will move it down, then increase the size. Sorry. I will increase the size. I'll come to my size and increase the size. <laughs> I will increase the size. I will 
increase the size. Good. So you can use the rotation to, to put a finishing touch. Good. Then increase this as well. I mean, sorry, position it well. Let it not touch the line. So the next thing I will do now is to use my own reflection. I want it to be reflected. I will click it, then move it down a bit. Good. I will click OK. The deco, I will use the reflection as well. Move it down a bit. Then I will now match everything together. I will match it together. Then after merging it together, I will reduce it. Reduce the size like this. So don't forget the next thing is you choose your background. The background must be amazing as well, so as to give the beauty to your logo and make it communicate to your client. So I'm looking for my background, the background I'm going to use. Good, I've seen it. Then you select your background. Sorry. Select your background. Not this. I don't want this. This is not the background I want to use. Good. This is the background I want to use. As you can see, you see how simple and easy it is to design a signature logo on your PCLF. This is an amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you really find this video helpful. Then you give it a shadow a little bit, you turn on your shadow, then click the plus sign and reduce it. Reduce it to 74 and then your blur radius to 8. Click OK. So, as you can see, this is how to create a signature logo for as a watermark. And if you want to use it for a mortal mark, the next thing to do is to just copy and you reduce it. Reduce and place it in your what in your photograph. You reduce and place it anywhere in your photograph. That's just an easy way to create a signature logo in the PCL app. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you find this video helpful. And don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can be updated whenever I post any kind of a missing video like this thanks for watching god bless you